Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Your discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to Jugaster. I forgot we had the street counter up, so we're going to just deal with that today. Hopefully we're able to figure out exactly where we are. So on the north, so we're in the southern hemisphere. We do have the back of an antenna. And I believe my first thought was going to be New Zealand, Australia, which I think still fits into that. We're definitely on the left-hand side of the road. Although we don't have bollards, we do have the opportunity to maybe look at some license plates. Uh, this one's definitely white. We don't have anything on the RV. We do have a white one over here. Uh, I did see a body of water to our south. That might be useful. We haven't seen bollards yet. Never a good sign. And then herbicide spraying in part. We can't even see the good sun that we want to see. So obviously they're they're spraying some herbicide down. We have the National Anzac Center, Princess Royal Forest, Convey Walk Lookout. And the Desert Mounted Corpse Memorial and the Padre White Lookout. Never heard of any of that before in my life. Hopefully we can figure it out. We have the White Stars, and we have the Albany Heritage Park. Now, Albany, I believe, I know it exists somewhere. Uh, there it is. I knew I was going to find it. Uh, yes, it's the capital of the state of New York, but it's also a town in the middle of bumblefuck nowhere, southern Australia. So we're looking right now for the Albany Heritage Park, Mount Clarence and Mount Adelie. Here's Mount Clarence. But I don't see Mount Adelie anywhere. And the town of Adelie is somewhere nearby. We have West Cape, Little Grove, Goad Beach, Vancouver Peninsula. Here's the Albany. Here's Centen Centennial Park. Mount Melville, Mount Elphiston? I think it has to be over here. There's the body of water we might have been seeing. Maybe not. Forts Road. City Center and Middleton Beach. So here's the Middleton Reserve. City Center's over here. Down here, perhaps? What was this name of the road? Forts Road? We don't have enough time, but it's going to be in this general area. Yeah, the Apex Lookout. So, we actually chose the right road. Here's Forts right here. And then we just have to go up to the Apex Lookout. But actually not a bad guess we have five extra points not a lot of extra points but five extra points triple yellow line but a fake flag of the united states that's a real flag a triple yellow in the united states huh scrap metal 971 area code not too familiar with 971 there was a sign right here Team Equeen, does that tell us the town? And a 503 area code. So it's definitely not a single state place. A single area code state. So we can forget that, that those 11 areas exist. I know it's not Idaho. Although, that triple yellow has me concerned. And I hear the cops going. So cops coming after us, guys. At this point, we spent a minute and we found phone numbers. Yes, phone numbers can be helpful. But I don't think I know enough of the phone numbers in the United States to be able to use them. Uh, on, we added a map to Geotips. There's 336 of them. Not an easy number to remember. We have Fayer Park and Dickey Prairie Road. No front plates. But the second car does have front plates. Here is the Fayer Park Clackamas. 
U.S. flag, no state flag. Strictly enforced, Clackamas County. So we're in Clackamas County, wherever the fuck that is. I would like a better look at some of these license plates. We do have no logging. And that literally says Oregon. And I doubt it's really moved too far from Mulala, Oregon. Where would Mulala be? I think there's more woods over here than over here. So it's probably safer to go west. It's probably not that close to the coast. And I don't think we're on a massive uh, highway. But you wouldn't have a truck from outside of Oregon carrying lumber through Oregon. I feel like that that's pretty indicative of where we are. Although now it feels like we're in the middle of fucking nowhere. Let's throw it out here more. Silver Lake and Summer Lake. We didn't find any good town names, I think. We found road names. We found the county we're in. And we found Oregon on the side of a truck. It does end up being a lot closer to Portland. Over by Shady Dell and Rural Dell. None of the places I saw are listed here. But that's just how life works sometimes. So we're down by 500-ish points. We have language. We don't have vehicle. And we have bollards. Is that a... F it might be a fake flag. It should be, I think, Thailand. Should be. Which, Alec informed me today, it is Thailand, that these and these letters represent the province you're in, or the region. So Alec is currently working on a map, and then we'll be able to, well, then we're going to have to learn how to use these uh, letters to our advantage. Ah, uh, but we're definitely in Thailand. But Thailand's about to get a lot easier. Mainly because we're going to be able to use all of that to our advantage. And we're going to be able to learn uh, probably 10 to 15 letters. And those 10 to 15 letters are going to make our score go from like a, a 3,000 in Thailand to like a 4,500 in Thailand. Because then we're going to be able to find out the exact region we're in. Uh, we might not be able to get the road correct. But having a road would definitely be helpful. And being able to guess the correct region based on two numbers on the side of a road. And let me tell you, these things pop up everywhere. So we, we need to figure out what this N and this W looking thing represent. Uh, and you can see all the gray stuff. So maybe there's a, a north something, maybe? Here's an N. It's the only... No, here's another N. Nara Thiwath. Would that be an NW? No, because there's another one up here. So there's three ends, four ends, five ends. I'm yeah, I'm blind. All right. So there's five ends. It could be, if that's what that letter correlates to. So we're gonna have to wait for Alec to release that map, and trust me, it will be released. Uh, if you want to get updates about when that's gonna be. Uh, feel free to click on the GeoGuessr Discord, uh, the Pro Discord. You can find it in the description. It's going to be the last link. That will bring you over to the Pro Discord page where the world record uh, contest, well, not contest, uh, uploads are, geotips discussion, etc., as well as maps and all the updates we do for the site. All, all are talked about over there. So if you wanted to figure that out, that's where you would go. And when Alec has dumped this map, I'm sure he will post it there, as well as update the information on the Thailand page on Geotips with this newfound information. But these are everywhere. So this country is about to get really easy. And as you can see, the letters didn't move or change, so it's the same. It ends up being to the east. We end up getting an extra 100 points. It ends up being in Maha Sakur Sara Kham. So, we thought it was going to be an N and a W, but maybe that's the M and the S. 
Are there any other M and S's nearby? There's an M up here. There's an MS up here. So then we'd have to learn, obviously, the, the regional codes. So I think Alex said there were 76 of them. Uh, we're in Europe. We have the Gen 4 car. We have the blue bar. We do have bollards, but fuck bollards. I'd rather look at this. Dot C Z. We know where we are. And then Europa. Dot EU. So we are in good old Czechia. Throw it down. Can we find a town name anywhere? Because at this point, we, we do have a chance to win. That's probably the highway name. And then Cheb on 214. Is 214 going to be a road? Or is 214 going to be a distance? I'm leaning more towards road. Here are the fours. Here are the threes. More threes, more fours. Here are the ones. Higher ones. Fives, threes. So I guess we're in the northeast on 214. Fours, threes fours fours how how are we able to find one three four and five but completely missed out on two how is that possible and how and how is it that we do it every time it's not like oh we missed it this time 420 no anytime we need to find a row number we're we're pretty capable of finding every number but the one we're looking for Here's 190, 184, 197, and now we found the sixes. Here's 200, 203, 230, 215, we want 214, 212, 210, 212. So we're taking 214 to Cheb, or that's what we're on and we're heading towards Cheb. Hmm. Why did it take so long to find that fucking group? Waldsatzen, which is going to be in Germany, which is luckily right here. Here's Waldsatzen right here. So that's to our south, which makes sense if we're near Chad. When we do return to start, we are next to what appears to be a park. We do have a road, but we don't have a road name. Maybe we'll get one right here. Nothing coming off. Nothing at the corners. How would I know that's the correct way to go? We are on a general north to south road. So we might be south of Cheb on 214 heading towards it. And that could have been like a welcome to Cheb kind of moment. And it would make sense to tell us that Waldsassen is south of us in Germany. I think we have a good guess here. My only concern is, do we have an, a 400 point better guess than the current leader? No, but we have a 3 point better guess. Could have been a little bit worse. So we need to make up 400 points in this last and final round. And I think that's the... Nah, it's a wooden pole. I thought those were going to be the metal octagon poles of Mexico. Which, now that I see this... We know it's not Mexico. This, though, looks like Chilean poles. We did have Perry right here. We do have the elongated plates. I don't see the black, which, fuck you, Argentina. They're not yellow, so there goes Colombia. That truck might actually have a phone number or a website on it. Dot com, just what we wanted. And that literally says Ecoville, Brazil. So, with a 66 area code, that's northeast. This is possible. 100%. Brazil is large enough, and there's a city to our south. Brazil is large enough that we can hopefully get a 400-point better guess here. Hopefully. Doesn't mean we will. We, we could pray. But that was on a truck. We're going to want to find something a little more stationary. There's another 6-6. Six, six, and that says nothing important. Movis. Mobile. Okay. So they're selling phones. We have the phone number. We have the Brazilian flag. We know it's 6-6. Six, six. I believe it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Where's the 7? Maybe this is 7. I'm pretty sure it's the, the northeast. Pretty sure. But it's definitely Portugal. 
Uh, that says Nova Alencia. Aldenia Adna. The assembly de dois Nova Orleans. Guys, I don't speak Portuguese, but I think I do a pretty great job at pronouncing things completely wrong. I'm looking right now for a country code. There's an MT. There is no MT over here. Okay. Rio Branco. And then Rondonopolis. Shit. We don't have much time. The 6-6 six, six is nice. Another Rondonopolis. Is that a town? I have no idea what we're seeing. We know there's a city to our south, though. We can see the skyscrapers. Kind of. If we get to the right spot, we can see the skyscrapers. See? We can see the skyscrapers. We don't have a road number. We do have the phone number, but that doesn't mean we're going to guess the correct city. Uh, this is panic moment, because we have 15 seconds left, and everything we found didn't help us. And if it did help us, we didn't recognize that it was going to help us, so we didn't even pay attention to it. Maybe maybe the MT was a country code, but we're out of time, so. I guess this is the six, and this is the seven, then. And there's the town of Rondonopolis and Mato Grosso, so. It, it makes sense. We just paid attention to the Northeast because we were convinced it was going to be there. So that that's our throw. We, we threw that. Ben's in first place, 23,716. Taurus in second, 20,755. Calamity in third. Didn't get Australia, but did get Brazil, 20,563. We we butchered that last one. That last one was, was completely our fault. Uh, Bo in fifth, 12,865. I'm going to have to look at the Brazil phone on the map again. Because clearly, I don't remember it. Uh, but I'm pretty happy about all of the other rounds. It was just, we fucked up Brazil. That's what it comes down to. Uh, but that is going to be where we call for the day. So thank you all so much for being here. I hope you all enjoyed. And we will be back again tomorrow for a live stream. Uh, and then a weird Assassin's Creed video. My computer kind of fucked up. But that's going to be tomorrow. Uh, if you liked any of this, feel free to like it and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. If you guys want to continue to receive these daily videos. I love doing them for you. And I'd appreciate it if you showed some love back. Uh, but until tomorrow, and if not Friday, enjoy the rest of your day. And bye-bye.